Well, Dad was absolutely kicking my ass, but it looks like I may have just flicked over, hopefully, a cut half. It is, nice cut half. Avoided, avoided long cross, probably of Henry the third. Excellent, I'll take that. Nice one. Well, fines are going to be far and few between because we've only got actually six days in November to, to hunt. So this is a bonus day because I took a day's holiday. It's a nice spoon bowl with a fleur de lis touch mark on the right hand side inside the bowl. Very nice. Um, pleased with that. Wow. Dad just had a cracking little coin spill. Quite an early one. We've got a, a dateable coin. Well, this one's a token. It's 1657. Looks French. And the others are a penny, a penny and two farthings of George III. A second. Cracking little coin spill. Pretty deep in the pastures. Excellent. Well, that's just come up in the clod still. We think. It's an annular, well, it's a brooch of some sort, but we were about to find out with us. Oh, and a pin. Now it's got the pin as well. Medieval. Little medieval brooch. And some decoration. And some decoration on it. With the pin still intact. Oh, that's lovely. Um, I love that every day of the week. Thank you very much. Thank you. That is lovely. I'm liking that. Uh, it's got some decoration on it. Yeah, little medieval brooch. Nice one. Well, been out all morning. Ooh, that's a bit nice. It's not massive age, but it's, I'm still pleased to see that. And I think, by what I can see, it's going to be a nice flooring. Oh, yes. Look at that. 1935. Lovely. One flooring. Oh, I'll take that all day. Thank you. Superb. Okay, late Sunday, late Sunday afternoon. What's it? The twelfth of November. November. November was looking iffy, but we've just got a, a scaggy old hammered. I don't care, but it's my November hammered. Take that as my. Well, this looks like it's a York mint, perhaps, unless that's a letter in the middle. It's a York mint, probably. I would say then Henry the Fourth, then something like that. Got my on the field. Right, these are pretty crap. So. Excellent. I'll take it. Pasture. I think I just popped up a pretty positive. It is a nice brooch, nice Roman brooch. Yeah, 
Yes. Oh, it's very nice. I'll just drop it down the hole. Still got the catch plate. Complete Roman fibula. Probably towards the end of the third, fourth century. Nice, very nice. Chuff with that, that'll do. Thank you very much. Well again, just turn this over. You can see the imprint, the mud, it's just flicked. Um, I thought it was a brooch, but I think it could be a little spear tip. Oh, ho, 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 yes. Yes, it is. Oh my word. Um, it's a predominant. What? Well, it, it could be an arrow tip. It's got holes at the end where it could be attached. Roman or Bronze Age arrow tip. I'm on a predominantly Roman site. That's just stunningly beautiful. Wow, in that condition as well. Pasture. What a beautiful thing. Oh, glad I saved that. Excellent. Still sharp, it's almost in perfect condition. A little bit of bronze disease perhaps. That's a lovely thing. Wow. Superb. Well, just pop this up. It was so cruddy, I didn't think to... That's what it looked like. It looked like a, just a normal bronze. But I think, in fact, it's a Roman silver. I was trying to be. Yeah. Roman silver denarii. Looks like it's a Fausta. Or Julia Damana, one of the ladies, got her hair in a bun. Excellent, well chuffed with that. Superb. Well, it looks like the silver run is just happening again because it looks like I've got a hammy. Go pretty careful with this because it could be an old one. And I'm not going to do much more with that because I don't know what it is. It could be an oldie. It could just be a Lizzie. Looks like a shield's coming through there now. Ah, oh, there's a shield. Oh, it's not. I thought it might have been Saxon. No. No such luck. But it's the hammy, that'll do. Lovely. Well, today's theme is bells, so really the picture does do the trick. Um, some nice ones, some from my collection. Um, that's a big rusty cowbell. No, no dinger in it, but it, it's a cracking find. For those that don't dig iron, you won't find the things a little bit on the unusual side. So that's my biggest overall bell. 
a, ca a rusty cowbell, a couple of broken crotals. Never had a full bell bell, but that's the closest one without the dinger. But it's quite a lovely find. But the beauty of crotal bells is, this is the biggest one I've ever found, is this. Bit of the rusties. And some of these are just wonderful sounds. Some real beauties. Every single one's a different pitch. That one's a bit broken. That's a nice one. Whoops. That's a nice one. Just falling off the loop. Again, lovely sound. Get down to the smaller ones. Get higher and higher. Sounds like Santa. And some of these little ones, they all sound superb. Tiny little ones there. I don't think they're obviously not a crotal bell, but a bell of some sort. The only one that was slightly unusual, I'm not sure if it is a bell, that's a lovely one. Lovely high tone. But this is a slightly, literally strange. Thought it was going to be a crotal bell, and then it was this. So it could be the end of a whistle. It's crimped on, but it could be a very strange bell. I'm not sure. Don't know, so that's another one with the top missing. These have all got lovely tones. There's a fish scale one, a bit brushed up. And that's my collection of crotal bells. Wonderful, wonderful sounds. Really, really nice. Excellent, thank you. Well, I've just had a turn over at the bottom of the, well not the hole, but there's the hole, quite some depth, turned over, it looks like it might be a hammy, small, but it looks like it might be in luck, on a Sunday morning, yes it is, yes it is, little hammy, Sunday morning. Excellent. Well, uh, we'll take that. Thank you very much. Cool.